Hello guys, this is Vinny Burgess from Zar Securities and I'm welcoming you to this fresh new video tutorial series on ethical hacking in cybersecurity. Last time we talked about introduction to ethical hacking and uh, making ethical hacking as a career, but in this tutorial I'm going to make you go through various stages of hacking processes. So thinking like an attacker, we will perform all these kind of attacks on a live target so that you can get a basic understanding of what ethical hacking is. So as we discussed in our last tutorial, these five stages would be the backbone for our whole ethical hacking video tutorial series. So let me take you deep into the hacking stages and let me give you a detailed information about that. The first and the foremost stage is information gathering. So before getting into any real hacking scenario, every attacker or a hacker does do information gathering. And reconnaissance includes a footprinting, OS fingerprinting and all that. And after successful exploitation, the next thing is getting access. This is the main stage where an attacker gets all the access to the systems. And the fourth stage is maintaining it. So, seriously, maintaining these accesses are a key role of a hacker so that he can stay connected to the system and steal as much information from the target machine. And the last but not the least is clearing tracks. Every hacker before leaving any machine or a target, he always confirms or makes sure that he never leaves any digital fingerprint back. So clearing tracks to not get caught is a method done by hackers by clearing logs, manipulating system data and many more. So in this tutorial we will be talking more about information gathering and information gathering and reconnaissance is both the same and we will include these two topics in this tutorial. So there are two types of information gathering or reconnaissance. One is passive reconnaissance or information gathering and the second one is active information gathering or reconnaissance which we will be taking in the next tutorial. So as we know, the major agenda of an attacker is to collect as much information about the target. Further explaining, a typical hacker never gets into a system that easily. What he does is first he, he will analyze all the targets or all the nodes. He will collect as much information available on the target. And keeping these retrieved information in mind, he will try to shoot exploits to their set vulnerabilities. As I subdivided this reconnaissance part or information gathering part into two, which is passive and active. So what is passive recon? So passive recon is generally very useful if there is very clear requirement that the information gathering activities are never to be detected by the target. Majorly this type of profiling is technically very hard to perform. As we are never sending a single packet or data to the target server. So keeping in that mind, in passive recon, we can only use and gather stored information which are available on the target system. So the first and the foremost technique is by identifying IP addresses, subdomains and the whole list of IP addresses which are available of the target. For that, we will use Google as our target. And we will try to identify what kind of IP addresses our Google servers using. In order to find that IP addresses, we are going to use a simple utility tool which is available on Windows OSS, which is known as ping. So to get there, I will type CMD, which is command prompt. And you can see a beautiful screen here, which is the command terminal of Windows operating system. So here I'm going to use the ping utility to identify IP addresses of the target google.com. I'll type ping space caps log plan www.google.com. So what the ping command did is, the ping command echoed ICMP packet to the target google.com. So what we got here is, we got a reply from 
74.125.200.103 and the amount of data we sent was 32 bytes and it took almost 102 milliseconds for replying as you can see www.google.com and the IP address is 74.125.200.103 and we also use the ping utility to check the availability of the target host so as you can see google.com is up and running and the next major tool is NS lookup what NS lookup will do is it will shoot up a query asking the DNS information about the target google.com so let's type NS lookup and we'll add a space here and the target name is www.google.com so here we got a list of IP addresses which belongs to google.com google.com is a big thing a big server as you know it is a big website so it uses multiple IP addresses so as you can see I typed NS lookup and I queried for all the DNS records of www.google.com so it gave me an output with more than five IP addresses so what does that mean so this gives me a clear information on the IP addresses of google.com and the next passive reconnaissance method is identifying people so looking up for people's information over the web has now become pretty much easier than ever before so to get a person's email address real name IP addresses phone numbers and other personal information like residential address it can be collected over the web so this type of information gathering is also known as doxing in the underground community so doxing is nothing but collecting as much information about a person from public domain which are very critical information information like name phone numbers email addresses home address residential address so these kind of retrieving these kind of information is known as doxing we have seen a similar pattern with the hacker group anonymous in the year 2012 where they doxed around thousands of FBI agents what they did is simply collected as much information from publicly available data or they stealed information about these agents from the FBI servers and they displayed it on the internet for everybody so these type of attacks are majorly seen in corporate level and much lower in SMEs for a quick demo of collecting a person's critical information from the internet we will use a website called PIPL so PIPL is a service when queried for a name it will look around over the whole internet trying to find this person's details over maybe blogs websites forums basically anywhere give you an example of myself let me query myself and collect as much information about myself what is available on the internet right now so this is my name and uh, my location is and I will just shoot up a query so it says searching the deep web please wait it's it's collecting all the information from the net and it will soon show up all the information retrieved this takes about 30 seconds not more than that and there are many other websites available too like anywho.com and there are much many more services available on the internet where you can look up for people and collect as much information about them so here as you can see we got many different pages here you can also see the results with backgrounds profiles you can also search for web so these kind of sites are used for collecting information about a person who is a target and these 
collected information can be used against him later by deploying social engineering tactics spear phishing and all that which will be later demonstrating you in uh, the coming video tutorials so coming back to the slides the next thing is identifying technology suppose you are an attacker and you have a specific target so your main aim would be to collect information about the technologies he is using suppose you are you are an attacker and your target is an industrialist so what you have to do is you have to collect as much information about what kind of technology he is using he may be using hardware integrated softwares he may be using old unpatched windows xp operating systems etc etc so identifying the technologies of a target will give you a much broader picture about the organization technology and later identifying potential vulnerabilities in that so this was identifying technology the next thing is googling so googling is a much pretty easier task to do so using google as an information gathering tool is a great idea searching for certain strings or keywords about the target will end you with some huge amount of information from the web and the next thing is not mandatory but if the target is running a company so if she he or she has a website so what an attacker does is he crawls the website and collects as much information like email addresses phone numbers etc so that the attacker can later deploy social engineering and phishing tactics and the last but not the least in passive reconnaissance is who is so what is who is so who is is a protocol used to query registered users databases domain names and ip addresses so we will try to collect information by using who is so this is a website who dot is and i will try to search collect information on zar securities so we got a pretty much good information about the website zar securities it gave me ip address of the target what kind of registrar and name of the registrar its expiry and registered dates so here in raw registered data this is a mine of information here you have domain name the id the registrar's url the registrar city state and province phone number so by querying a hoist we can get all this kind of information about a target website and this information can be used in our next hacking stages so getting back to the slide this was the passive reconnaissance tutorial and in the next tutorial you will learn about active reconnaissance so these are the topics that would be covered in active reconnaissance network scanning vulnerability scanning social engineering os fingerprinting ids routers and many more so hope you like this tutorial and hope you will like this series as well so stay tuned for our upcoming video tutorials you can subscribe to our youtube channel you can also like us on facebook you can also follow us on twitter so this is vinit work is signing off any queries feel free to comment below